hi guys nancy umi here welcome to my channel ah, it's officially raining season in nigeria and you know what that means it means we're going to have seafood scattered everywhere in the country well i'm going to teach you how to make the most amazing seafood okra you've ever had <laughs> if you want to learn stick around we're going to need some cayenne pepper scotch bonnets or rodo onions paprika or tatashi one large dried fish stockfish periwinkles crayfish prawns see you know what just use any seafood you can find you know in your area i used some crabs they've already been cleaned i cleaned them at the market because i ain't got time for that and you need your fresh okra make sure you try the freshness test by trying to snap off the edges and if it doesn't come off then you know it's not fresh <laughs> now you need i know it's seafood okra but see eh, there's no seafood okra without one more it's actually some of one of the things <laughs> that are allowed in this recipe so clean your fish you know got it and then season it with some salt bouillon cubes and cayenne pepper we're going to be grilling this is actually a low-key fit farm recipe so the total you know amount of oil we're going to be using here is about one cooking spoon so that's pretty amazing now you want to grill this fish till it's um brown or till it's crispy you want to turn in between just for about let's say 30 minutes that's how long i grilled mine you could also steam it you know if that's your preference now we're going to blend uh paprika scotch bonnet and onions with some water this is the base of the soup and the reason why we have a lot of paprika is so that we don't eventually need a lot of palm oil so that's a fit farm shortcut there now clean your okra we're going to divide it into two parts we're going to slice um one part however you want to slice it is fine i just cut mine in a round um, shape and we're going to blend the other part with some water now the reason is because i want to actually increase the viscosity that's the drawness of this soup <laughs> so that's why i'm blending some some of it uh, if you don't have you can actually just slice everything if that's fine with you now slice up one more i know this is not seafood but see eh, when you add it you come back and thank me eh? <laughs> season your prawns with some bouillon cubes and cayenne pepper and just let it marinate for about 30 minutes we're gonna need it very soon set aside now place that your pepper mix with us blended in a pot add some water season with bouillon cubes salt and then allow it to boil for about five minutes just cover it and let it boil to take out the, the rawness you know and then when it's boiled you add your crayfish your stockfish and your pomo and let it cook for 10 minutes depending on how hard your pomo is now my pomo wasn't really hard so i just let it soak up the seasoning in the broth so yeah five minutes and then you add your crabs Whew, this doesn't take a while to cook so just throw it in there and then let it cook for about five minutes this is a very sharp sharp recipe so you want to be you know beside your pot don't let anything overcook because it's seafood it cooks really fast now add your dry fish periwinkles and your prawns and then let it cook for another five minutes just stay beside the pots okay <laughs> and actually time it so it takes about five minutes for prawns to cook see and when it's cooked you add your palm oil see how small the palm oil is yeah it's because we use a lot of paprika so let that cook out for about two minutes and then take out the crabs the reason why we're taking it out is so it will let us it will allow us give us space to actually <laughs> turn the okra you see what i mean in a couple of seconds so take it out and then add that blended okra you just blended you want to switch this spoon because you see this is not really doing much because it's very very viscous you just want to take a metal spoon and then gather all your muscles <laughs> and then just keep turning see how nice and viscous that is it's really really dry this is what i enjoy when it comes to okra if it's not drying then i don't like it <laughs> okay so make sure that's all blended in with the broth and then add the sliced okra and then just cook for about two minutes the thing about okra is it's very it's a vegetable it doesn't need a lot of time to cook so two minutes is fine and basically you just want to stir until everything is very nice and blended 
and then you can put back the crab you see i didn't actually add my fish my grilled fish because this is actually a very viscous soup and it's just going to be destroyed <laughs> if i try to add it and stay at the same time so i'm going to add it later adjust the seasoning don't be scared to taste taste your soup be sure everything is fine salt maggie pepper everything is okay ah just look at that oh my goodness see and if you guys don't try this soup i'm going to actually look at the people that are watching it if you if you don't try it i know how to catch you make sure you try this soup this is really amazing you want to serve it hot with any swallow of your choice i made fresh pounded yam not pound oh, pounded yam ah god you need to see the way they were licking the plates in my house you don't even want to know <laughs> guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up and try it please eh god bless you thank you for watching <laughs>